Welcome back to Come and See Christianity. This is lesson number 28, Development. Development. In this lesson, we'll see that God's design includes a continuous improvement process where the Christian, the church, will be in a process for the rest of our lives of growing into more Christ-likeness. Now, we've already seen in section one, by way of review, that God has a divine design, a biblical worldview, a gospel that's being lived out across the globe. Then we saw in section two that every human being is made up of three divisions, our heads, our hearts, and our hands. In section three, we learned about every human being fitting into one of five categories. Every person is either a lover, I'm sorry, a lost person, a lover, a learner, a leader, or a lifer. Then in section four, we moved on to the seven details or the seven fundamentals where we said we need to know what we need to know and we covered those. Then we came to where we are now in section five and we're today closing out those 12 disciplines, the 12 heart exercises that will make the believer more robust in the heart, that will be those that grow as worshipers and witnesses. It's at the heart level where we see these disciplines being applied. And today, that last discipline, it is to reveal and to reflect God's design for a continuous improvement program, that every Christian is to seek to be developed, to be discipled, to be sanctified and grow as a disciple who ultimately will be able to make other disciples who can make other disciples. In short, this lesson focuses on the one thing that is at the core of all development. It's our pursuit of a greater loving intimacy with Almighty God with Jesus the Christ. And regardless of who you are, where you are, or when you are doing this, if we'll embrace a steadfast, continuous pursuit of a growing biblical intimacy with Jesus, we'll be on that path. No matter who you are, where you are, or when you are, you'll be on that path of continuous development, of biblical discipleship to the glory of our God. Amen. And amen.